Hey guys, um, my voice doesn't feel great today, so the video will be not super great, but yeah, we have to get this video going. So this is the iPhone SE, it starts at $399, it's got a 4.7 inch Retina HD display, A13 Bionic, which is the same one as the iPhone um, 11, it's got durable and glass aluminum design, just like the iPhone 8, Touch ID, 4K video at 30 frames a second with up to 60 frames a second, portrait mode, wireless charging, quick take video section so that's probably going to be in a new update for ios water and dust resistant and um, video stereo recording then once we go to the main page you've got it's see it's 399 starts at 299 and once we scroll down you can see it's the most powerful chip that they have yet the a13 whereas the iphone 8 has i'm pretty sure the a10 or a9 and then it's the same design as the iPhone 8, as you can see. Um, it looks the same, the space gray, well, it's actually black and it's a little darker. It's a 7.7 .7 inch Retina HD display. And <laughs> iPhone 11 Pro wants its chip back. And here it is zooming in through it. And then you can see there's some game play. And then it's the body of the iPhone 8, but the brains of the iPhone 11. So it's got portrait mode, which is pretty good. Here's some videos and photos. Not videos, but photos. It's got depth control. It's got portrait lighting. Here's some photos of that. And then it's got um, some high definition video. So you can take in HD and watch in HD. Um, it's got touch ID with the and then the quick take photos. And that so you just hold the shutter. And instead of doing burst, I'm pretty sure it'll take photo. And then um, it's got home button with Touch ID enabled, so the same as the iPhone 8. Um, it does have some pretty big bezel on the top and bottom, but hey, it's got the same security built in. It's IP67 up to 1 meter 30 minutes underwater, or up to 1 meter underwater and then 30 minutes. It's got the same battery life as the iPhone 8 with 13 hours of video on a single charge without streaming. And you can um, fast charge it. it. Comes in black, white, and red. Well, product red. And then once we scroll down, you can see it's got True Tone, haptic touch, augmented reality, stereo audio recording, faster Wi-Fi, and cellular data with Wi-Fi 6 and Gigabyte Class LTE. You've got audio sharing with the um, AirPods, and then it's got a dual SIM with the Nano SIM and the um, eSIM. eSIM is what's in the um, Apple Watch, you've got built-in AR, and then, yeah, so then once we go over to view pricing, you can see, once it loads, supposedly, I don't know why it's not loading, there it goes, alright, so you can see it starts at 399 or 299 with trade-in, you can get up to $500 off with the XS Max, and once, if we price it out with excess max, it's just zero dollars, as you can see, because, and then I'm pretty sure they'll give you like money back or something. And then you can get up to $170 with the iPhone 8. Um, with the iPhone SE, it's $50, or $30 with the first generation iPhone SE, and then, and the iPhone 6, $50 with the 6 Plus. Um, iPhone 7 is $170, and same with iPhone 8. And then there's black, white, and product red. Product red does its same um, global funding, but this one's toward COVID-19. You've got your 65, 128, and 256 gigabyte options. You've got your carriers. You've got your Apple Plus coverage, regular or with theft loss. You can do um, the months until canceled, or you can just do um, pay for you know two years worth of service. And then. If you do with theft and loss and 256 gigabytes, it comes out to be around $500, but it's still a fairly good deal. Once we go over to tech specs, you can see the black, white, and product red, all those, 64, 128, 256 gigabytes, the height, the weight, the dimensions, the bezels, the speakers, the display is there's the iPhone 11 behind it, as you can see towards the bottom of the screen, the depth is 0.29 inch. So it's pretty good. It only weighs 5.22 ounces. It's Retina HD display, 
um, True Tone, Haptic Touch, all of those things, Reachability, a 13 Bionic chip, third generation, IP67. It's got a 12 megapixel wide, and then LED True Tone flash with low sync. It's got burst mode and all of those things, and that um, special video recording, 4K video at 60, 30, and 24 frames a second. 1080 HD video recording at 60 or 30 frames a second, 720 HD at 30, LED True Tone Flash, you've got screen recording, front camera is a 7 megapixel, and the back camera is a 12 megapixel wide, the front camera um, has, can do 1020 and 720, 1080 and 720, you've got Apple Pay, Apple Card, your carriers, your cellular and wireless, with Gigabyte um, Class LTE, and Wi-Fi 6, with Bluetooth 5.0 wireless technology. And then, once we scroll down, we've got our built-in GPS slash GNSS. we got our digital compass, our Wi-Fi, our cellular, our iBeacon micro location. Video calling, you've got FaceTime calling, video calling over Wi-Fi and cellular. You've got audio with FaceTime, voice over LTE, and then Wi-Fi calling. Your audio playback, you've got all of those things. Video playback, Siri, external buttons are the home, volume up and down, ringer, speaker, and then the... Um, power button on the bottom you've got your lightning connector built-in microphones built-in stereo speaker and then once you scroll down you see we've got your power and battery same as iPhone 8 13 hours video playback 8 hours video playback with but being streamed 40 hours audio playback fast charge with 50% um, in 30 minutes with the 18 watt adapter or higher sold separate sensors touch ID um, three axis gyro accelerometer ambient light sensor operating iOS 13 probably can go up to iOS 18 as you can see, we've got our accessibility, and then built-in apps, and then free apps from Apple, which you can download, include trailers, iMovie, and all those things, AirPod, earpods with lightning connector, dual SIM and nano SIM. So you've got your nano SIM and eSIM. The, you cannot put your micro SIM from your other phone in. You have to get a new SIM card. But you can also have two numbers, so like a work. eSIM is the same thing that's in an um, Apple Watch, so it's not a real SIM card. It's a you know, fake SIM card, and then you've got your mail support, your hearing aid, um, your system requirements are an Apple ID and a Nexus syncing with a Mac or PC, requires Mac OS Catalina, Windows 7 or later, all of your different languages for all your things in the box, you've got your iPhone SE, your earpods with lightning connector, your USB to lightning, and your 5 watt adapter, and then iPhone in the environment. Um, and so they recycle everything. It's 100% recycled. It's very good. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. So, once we scroll back up, you can see the colors. And yeah, 